What's up? So it's been a little bit since your fight. Uh, what are your takeaways from your performance? Um, man, it was a, it was good. I, I showed myself I got some heart. You know, it's a short notice fight. Um, I put everything into the camp while we're, you know, getting ready. And and I just, I'm, I'm hope to go get these bruises fixed up and get back in there. And so heading into round three, do you are you kind of thinking in your head what the scorecards might be, or are you just like I'm just gonna go out there and let loose? Nah, I just let loose, man. I, I don't, you know, I I don't really look at the judges' scorecards like that, you know. Like my plan was to go out in there and finish him, you know. I know his plan was the same thing, you know. We we obviously were a good match and a good fight, but I think I I obviously had the upper hand on him. And what was your game plan going into this fight? Man, just have a fight. Do me have, you know, do put on a show. You know, be that war ready, Chippe. And of course, you know, I know we, we talked about on Wednesday from your regional experience, you have all the confidence in one of these types of fights, but now 3 0 in the UFC, are you, have you surprised yourself almost uh, in any type of way? Yeah, man. It, um, to be honest, it's a, a dream come true, you know, coming into the UFC. Um, a dream since I was a little kid uh, and still living it. I'm still enjoying it and I'm still in it, you know, I'm just. Um, yeah, I'm just very happy and proud of myself, and I'm just ready for the future. And we also talked about those crazy sparring sessions with <laughs> Justin Gagey. How, how do those really prepare you for a fight like this when it just takes a little bit extra oomph to get the win? Yeah, man, well, we obviously have some gear, you know. If we didn't have gear, I think I would, you know, we would be a little cut up too, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, th those rounds definitely get me ready for fights like this. Um, I like to thank my corners; they kept me really in it. You know, I was um, I was a little hard on myself in there the in the beginning, and then they they kept me moving, they kept me busy, they kept me. Um, I like I like to tell them to play me like a video game, tell me exactly what to do, how to win, and we go out there and get that victory. You know, you, not every fighter is really at that receptive to their corner. So what part of your career did you really learn? Like, hey, I need to trust my coaches and take it in during the fight. Man, it was, you know, they, your corner wants what's best for you, you know. And I used to, back in the day when I was losing and stuff, I didn't listen to my corner from ignorance, you know, in, immaturity, um, acting like I knew it all when I didn't know it all, you know. So I just, um, I changed the um, a new page in my life of listening to those people that really want me to win as much as I want to win. And so I don't think we heard your post-fight interview back here. Was there anyone you called out, anyone you're interested in moving forward? Man, there's a lot of guys, but the one specific ranked guy, um, I fought him in the regional scene, and, you know, I fought him in his hometown, and they gave it to him, obviously, and I was cool about it. I said, I'll see you, I'll see you again one day, and uh, I would like to call out the Mr. Bryce Mitchell. <laughs> And is there any specific event that you're thinking about? Because there's a lot of upcoming fun ones, right? The the Mexican Independence Day in the Sphere. There's going to be a Conor McGregor card. Anything specific you're looking forward to? Yeah, man. I'm that Mexican that deserves to be in that Sphere fight, you know? I, I'm, I go out there, show exactly what the Mexican fighting style is, you know? We go out there, put on a show, and get that win, and, you know, show the heart. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Why Bryce Mitchell, and how do you see that fight playing out? Man, I, well, I obviously, if... if You've, uh, you know, do your research on me. You can see that I fought him in his hometown. Uh, what's crazy is I fought him when I found out my mom had breast cancer and I had the, one of the worst cuts ever. My body locked up. I missed weight. Um, I, had, I didn't have the proper corner. Uh, I, fought, I went in there fighting like I was just floating in there and I had him literally, if you see the rounds, he was literally crawling back to his corner. And I thought I won the fight. Um, but, you know, and he's a ranked guy. He's in front of me, you know, like, so I'm like, you know what? Let me run that one back and let's see if we could put on another show. Is that a fight? I mean, granted, that, that fight took place back in 2017. So is this something that's been weighing on the back of your head? Or is it just the fact that since you guys are both in the same organization, you finally, you're like, I can get that one back? Yeah, man. Who, like, at, at this point, it could be him or whoever wants it. You know, like I, I'm, you know, I, I've said yes to other ranked opponents that are higher than him, and they've told me no. So I'm, I know I'm in that mix where, you know, I could even call out the champ and, you know, go out there and have some fun. When they, when their judges are reading the, the scorecards, how confident were you that you had did enough to get that nod? Well, they, it, they gave them a 30-27, you know, and then that's what, that's when I tell, you know, I tell people all the time, like we need judges to go to school. 
for doing this. You know, like there should be classes or a certification for to do this. You know, I feel like they just hire anybody to do that, or you know the you know they just say, hey, you you want to judge? Cool, come on, let's go. But I feel like you know if you know it could be like ex MMA fighters, you know, or somebody who's done it before, or referees or something, you know, like um, I. You know, that judge obviously seen it uh, in his hand, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm lucky to see, have two judges give it to me. Congrats on the victory. Thank you, man.